The Gorians, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. Um, looking at my eyes, I look a bit watery. <laughs> I just yawned. <laughs> so, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, you're welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. If you've been channeling, following my channel for the last couple of weeks or want to look back, you will see that I focus quite a lot on love, twin flame love, soulmate love, you know, past life. Um, energy, all the type of things, but now we are focusing forward. Okay, so the, um, this video is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending for July 2020. Where is life going? What can you look forward to? And when we say the other half, you know Virgo, I feel this video sits right in your corner. It sits so perfectly in your corner and I feel it's something that will be very valuable for you because with this video um, my focus is to um, you know to look at what is it that you as an individual as a person is contributing to everything that's happening in your life especially those repeating cycles I remember I had a powerful reading for you last week from you know and it actually completely blew my mind away so I'm quite excited to see what is coming out in this one obviously a general reading so whatever resonates resonates and whatever doesn't resonate doesn't resonate okay you can always get yourself a personal detailed reading 12 years dollars for a 30 minutes downloadable reading that I sent to you um, but quite a lot at the moment, but I'll, as always, I do my best to get them to you um, as soon as possible. Um, oh, my Virgis, my Virgis, my Virgis, my Virgis, my babies, my babies, my babies, my babies. You have gone through a very, very, very challenging period, my loves. Oh, but there's benefits in it. Okay, if there is any sort of drilling or banging or background noises. I do apologize for those in advance. Um, but I wanted to do your reading. I didn't want to hold out on that on, on account of the noise. Otherwise, I wasn't going to be able to get to it. Um, I've got some other things that I need to get to, so I wasn't going to get to it. Right. So let's see. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. So you've been sort of watching the world silently. <laughs> I do see though that you have been going through a lot of turmoil recently. Like it's like you set your mind on something that seemed like it was really, really gonna work. Um, there's a major disappointment here somewhere. Um, very much on the forefront of your mind and I feel that for a while there even as, as recently as like maybe like you know two weeks ago even last week yesterday um, it's 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 sort of difficult for you to just trust people because somebody really broke your heart really broke your trust you know um, you thought this was the person that you can depend on regardless and it turns out that that was, you know, not the case. I do feel that that was, a, um, I feel that you were holding on to what you had with that person, though, um, almost like a defense mechanism. So you didn't need to move on because you had this, all right? And life sort of removed it out of the way for you because there was so much beauty available on the other side of that almost sort of attachment that there was a bit of a codependence going on there okay and I feel it's like I can feel some of you screaming to me don't you dare say that but you know I, I have to tell you what I get um, but I do sense that currently you're stepping away from things that are not serving you positively people that are not serving you positively emotions that are not serving you positively you're in that space where you really get to see things very clearly for what they are. You're getting to see people for who they are. But just be careful because I feel that you that 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 energy that that, that energy of you know almost I, and and I'm sorry because it's like I can feel it in my heart how much it hurts. But it's like that carpet was really ripped out from underneath you and. Be careful that when you make your judgments and before you do any sort of cuts and just before you step away from, you know, um, situations, because here's what I feel that just be careful because I feel that you may feel that you are stepping away amicably, but you may 
maybe leaving a trail of tears behind okay so be careful to if you see smoke let's go make very sure that there is also fire you know that it's not only maybe the aftermath of something else i mean everybody's got their stuff going on at the moment okay um but i see you going forward i see some intense work being done here you've got a in the past you you really got some clarity about what you want your life to be and especially what you don't want your life to be so that sort of pushes puts you in the space where it's almost everybody's kind of put on the scale these days um you know are they worth being here or are they not worth being here which is not a bad thing but you want to be sure that when you do that that you come from a from a from a space of um harmony and peace okay and it's very easy to sometimes fall out of that space i see a lot of hurt being healed a lot of hurt a lot of hurt things that have been with you for so long um it's almost like that break that you had there in the past opened your eyes to the idea that if you sometimes lose certain things lose certain people lose certain situations um you know uh, that on the other side of pain there could be quite a lot of light because I see a lot of balance coming about for you okay and I don't only see you walking away a lot I also see you walking towards which is which is nice nothing but romance at this particular point in time I will see if anything does come up I think there was a lot well there is a one of the oh okay so you decided sort of what you wanted your whole life to be recently so you sort of really made up your mind um and i feel that you are not very open to um probably changing your mind okay so you've made up your mind what you'd like your life sort of to be like okay and you are not completely open to really changing that at the moment let's go look at that recent pass for I felt you some you felt something would work with someone. Okay, you felt somebody would be by your side, like <clears throat> you may have put them on a little Virgo test without actually meaning to do so. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see the Gorians. Okay. So you wanted something very specific with someone. You were quite certain that you were prepared to put your eggs together in the same nest. Huh? Prepared to put your eggs together in the same nest. I I don't know, Virgo. I've been picking up this in your in your readings for a while now, but there is this cancer energy. Um, and it's like every time when you seem like you can make it work that something happens let's look at the something that keeps on happening because something keeps on happening so before there's the you know the break the fold or whatever because you know sometimes you know, when we are there we go sometimes when we are scared to move into a situation we actually subconsciously place blockages in our path Okay. now my heart is breaking for you right now okay because I feel that you very much want to be with a certain person but what is sort of keeping you trapped almost in a self-destructive pattern is this is so painful it's almost like you feel like you might not be good enough for that person that i feel it might take so much for you to completely you know take that step and open your heart towards them and if you do and they're not really reciprocating that that i feel that you're not sure 
if you can actually come back from there all right i didn't expect that <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't respect I, I didn't expect that um okay all right <laughs> sorry 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 I don't usually get emotional during readings. <clears throat> okay. So there's the space of stepping away. Like when I say I don't get emotional, I mean I can, um, you know, maintain space between myself and the reading. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so... Listen to me. Whatever you're doing, please please put it down. Listen to me, please. Okay, so stepping away. Now I get it. But it's sort of stepping away from... I feel that you kind of feel that the best thing that you can do is to step away from the pain. So right now to you, it seems like a brilliant idea. Play some space between you and the pain. Work yourself halfway to death. Um, invest yourself in all kinds of projects. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if it means that you have to paint the wall with a toothbrush. Um, you get what I'm saying, right? Wall with a toothbrush. Everywhere. It doesn't work out. Um, but the situation is there. The good news is if you don't step away. In fact, if you do nothing, I feel the situation can actually quite work itself out. Let's see. Let's see there with the with the um, with the recent pass. Okay, now people are banging. I'm so sorry. Let's see what's going on in the recent pass. Because there was some real pain here, and I feel that the other person might not actually be. Yeah, they they're not they're not aware of the fact that you were in pain. In fact, they. Uh, I feel that, that the other person that you're thinking about, they are, their heart is as open to you as open can be. They will actually do whatever they, you know, whatever is required of them for them to be with you. So I know that you don't, that you know, that, that you don't always like to hear this, but it seems like in this case you may have actually had the wrong end of the stick. Okay. Um... And I feel that, in fact, you are beginning to realize that yourself, too. But that's good. Okay, that's good. So, um, it's not just me, the cyber person, who's like, <laughs> you know, saying this to you. You're beginning to realize it, too. You, I, I feel that at some point or the other, there was a, a possibility of the two of you on the table. Or that sort of, you know... Even if you're not physically together, that possibility is there. It's very there, all right? Um, but you might have been holding out, you know, based on a past decision. Maybe this is somebody that reminds you of another person, another situation. And you're realizing now that you might have been too hard on this situation because, again, this person is still here, <laughs> you know? You want them to give you space, they give you space. You want them to be close, they close. They're like, can't I get rid of you? Okay. So I feel that you may have been a little bit self-sabotaging there for a while in love with yourself. Okay. And you're beginning to see that. You're beginning to get that. You're beginning to realize that you might have not been doing yourself any favors there. I love this. So you're at the space where you are saying, okay, pretty vocal that I am. Um, I need to, I need to sort of, actually I said it quite flippantly, but I feel that for some of you, you don't really feel that pretty vocal that you are. In fact, some of you are wishing for a second chance. And you're feeling that you're going to have to do a lot of inner work to get that. You realize that. Um, that if you get a second chance from this person. This is weird. It feels like there wasn't a first chance. But you're looking for a second chance. 
No. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what's that. Um, but you're getting to see what the work that you need to put in yourself, the, 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 the past, you're getting to realize that you have to let it, cut it off, let it go. And I feel that you, you're more than halfway there, more than you may be giving yourself credit for. Really come into your power, really come into your strength. I feel that this person that you are interested in, it feels a lot like... Um, it's got something to do with work. So the scales are not so balanced here. Okay. So you're realizing that There's something broken in here. There's a broken heart inside this face. It's like someone was supposed to get married or just recently broke up with someone or had a big disappointment. It could be you, it could be the other person. But one doesn't quite know how the other one feels. And um, I feel there's quite a lot of assumption that's taking place at the moment. Okay. Um, and I feel that assumption is wrong. I want to look at this card because whilst you are, whilst you might be thinking, oh, I don't even know if this person might be interested in me. This person is looking at you and think like, oh my goodness, I would like to marry this one. I would like to be with this one. I would like to have something solid with this one. Um, and it's so interesting. It's like you are sort of trying to, you know, what you would perceive to to bring to the table in equal measure so you're working on that and you're feeling that's very important for things to go i want to let you know that everything that you need to solve this situation is here right now in fact what the two of you are doing you're actually really just hurting each other all those halves that are not complete i feel that you can actually get them together with each other all right um the person sees you doing the inner work. This is this this is, it's sort of bittersweet because um, I almost feel like you don't want to show too much of yourself. Yet your person is seeing exactly who you are, and they like that. They like what they see. Okay. Let's see. Yep. They would actually be able to help you quite a lot with the things that you are struggling with. Okay. I really feel that the two of you complement each other, but you might be, there might be some personal concerns, what the world's going to think, how it's going to look. There are some outside factors that has an impact on the situation. Let's see. Huh. I feel that you can see this working. Actually, in your overall life, you can see this working, how um, this romantic situation, it's interesting, I thought there was no romance here. <laughs> but how this, you know, it's, it's like in your mind, you've got an idea of the two of you together. And it's beautiful, it's flawless. But when it, it's, it's almost like in the reality of life, you feel like if I just do this little bit and that little bit, you know, and this little bit and that little bit. Um, so it's like you keep on setting yourself um, sort of markers. If I reach that, I can do this. If I reach that, I can do that. Um, but with respect, your mind is a little self-sabotaging at the moment. So... It's almost like when you read something, you either won't get there or you will pile on more that needs to be done in order to, you know, to be there, to be ready, to be in the moment. Um, now, I don't want to scare you, but I'm going to tell you this. Even though this other person can see what's happening, even though they're kind of aware what's happening, 
it's like they're sort of becoming a little bit um, hesitant to um, continue contributing to the situation because believe it or not you are both contributing and emotionally it's it's almost like this other person they started tripping started doubting themselves so what they do as a result is they actually stepping away they they pulling away um you would have you would currently be aware or, or, or you know there's there's it's like there's some unspoken friction you know like this person is not unfriendly but they're not exactly things are not the way they were before there is some unspoken thing okay hanging in the air and if they step away i feel that they're in the process of it's almost like they're tipping their foot in the water so they might be kind of stepping away -ish. but if they step away you can you I, I can tell you one thing for sure they ain't coming back okay they're not coming back. I do ever see on your side, Virgo, that you're doing a lot of beautiful, 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 um, you know, inner work going forward. I see you letting go of a lot of the emotions holding you back. And as a direct result of that, you yourself is having what you can probably only describe as an incredible, incredible spiritual awakening. You're aligning with abundance. You're stepping straight into love. Um, so I will tell you this much though. If you can't get this specific romantic situation worked out, um, you may still be able to, to maintain that person as a friend. Um, but I actually see you stepping straight into love. I do. I see you stepping straight into love. Okay? And into a very healthy cycle, in fact. So the choice really is yours. Ah. We're stepping straight into love. But it's almost like you might be creating a new cycle. So the choice, of course, is entirely yours. Um, my beauties. The choice is yours, of course. I'm never going to tell you what to do. But I do feel that... I do feel that if this connection doesn't work out, even though you're stepping into love, you should go forward to stepping into romance. This will actually complicate that. I need to draw you some more cards. I can't leave you with it just, with just that. I, I simply can't. I simply won't. It, some clarity is required. <laughs> See. So stepping into power, all the support that you need is available for you going forward. Universe is fully on your side. Good to make decisions, just be careful. Okay. Yeah. Be careful what you walk away from. I know that sounds ominous, but be careful what you walk away from because you may actually end up regretting it. Okay. I hope that helps. <laughs> you don't want to get yourself out of a cycle into another cycle again. Um, so let's see what happens in the weeks going forward, Virgo. You know, if you want, you can always um, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Um, book a personal reading if you want to. 12 years dollars for 30 minutes downloadable reading. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next week. Bye, my angels.